So what's going on everyone? My name is Mr. Dalit JD. Thank you very much for clicking on this video and joining me where today we're going to be discussing a pretty interesting new find in the Shadows of Evil Zombies trailer for Black Ops 3 which links this map in with Doris slash the Giant and it's a pretty interesting little find so I have to give credit to Mr. Ruffle Waffles for originally finding this out during the trailer by looking frame by frame. You can find his channel linked down below in the description but I'm going to be showing you guys this and presenting what this could mean for the storyline for Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now if you guys do enjoy this video, smash that like button, your support would be absolutely awesome and let me know what you think of this finding down below in the comment section and if you have any further ideas to add onto how these two maps could be linked. So anyway, the thing we're going to be looking at precisely here is a single frame in the trailer. If you blink, you literally miss it. If you're watching it normally, you definitely will miss this, but it's one of the starting frames where you can see the magician character running away from a group of zombies and we can see a sign behind him. Now this might not look like much to you but if we zoom in behind his shoulder you can see the stamp of two words. The bottom one we'll go into first which is very brief. This looks like the word Stahlwerk which is German for steelworks which makes a lot of sense but it's the word above it that we care more about and we're going to focus on at the moment. Now this word is Silesia. Now this probably doesn't mean anything to you, but we're going to go jump back to Black Ops 1 and take a look at the Zombies map to Reese, which of course is the Giant just after the events of what happened at the Giant. Now when you load up Doris, it usually gives you a location of where Doris is, which says it's located somewhere near Browslow, Germany. So we thought throughout these years that Doris is set somewhere in Germany, but if you go look into the Black Ops 1 terminals and you go and log on to the Dreamland server, you can actually log in and find out some additional information about Doris. Now when I say additional information, I mean about the location of Doris, and in this file it says that these were recorded from the Doris test facility in Lower Silesia. So Doris is actually taking place in Lower Silesia, so that's the Reed slash the Giant. And then we go look back at the Shadows of Evil frame, which also takes place in Silesia. Now I'm sure straight away you guys are beginning to see the link right there. I'm sure also where we see the little uh, wording on the trailer frame, it looks like there should be some wording before the word Silesia. So that could also say Lower Silesia, which means that these two places could be in the same area. As well as also to back up the fact that this Shadows of Evil map takes place in a fictional city in the 1940s. We don't know exactly what date in the 1940s or year, but we know it's in the 1940s. And Doris slash the Giant also takes place in the 1940s. Now we've come to know that Treyarch never put anything in their trailers by mistake. Everything is there for a reason for us to find and this definitely is a massive hint that Treyarch have thrown at us which we've missed until now. Now believe me when I say this guys, they've been working on this for a long long time and every single pixel on this map has been meticulously scrutinized and positioned to be in certain places for certain reasons. And specifically with this frame that we've seen in the trailer, that was definitely put in there for us to find and notice. That definitely is not in there without some sort of meaning behind it. I feel like when we actually see this map properly for ourselves, there's going to be a lot more hints like this. But as it's only July and we have three months to go until launch, a lot of this is just pure speculation. But I'm assuming here that this map, Shadows of Evil, and the map, The Giant, are linked in some way by being in the same universe. Now, I, along with some other YouTubers, originally thought that Shadows of Evil was going to take place in the same universe as Mob of the Dead, simply for the fact that Treyarch said that Mob of the Dead and Shadows of Evil are connected in some way, and they are very similar in the fact that we have a crew of four bad characters who are being punished for their actions in a zombie apocalypse. But at San Diego Comic Con, Treyarch also said the new Black Ops 3 zombie story connected to the original story. Now, we're not sure if they're talking about Shadows of Evil or the Giant. The Giant definitely connects the original story. Shadows of Evil we're not too sure but with this new link perhaps that is the case they said mob of the dead connects to shadows of evil and black ops 3 dlc now what does this mean for the black ops 3 zombie storyline well it definitely seems that the giant and shadows of evil are linked 
by being in the same area at the same time. To me, having still work is a kind of hidden kind of code name, if you will, for what the Doris facility actually is. And they're calling it still work to try and keep things under wraps. But it also looks like there could be Group 935 members working in Morgue City, communicating with Doris, and perhaps experiments could also be taking place in Morgue City. I mean, there has to be some sort of explanation for that huge free-headed monstrosity that we see in the trailer. As it stands right now, this is all pure speculation because we don't really know much else about any of these two maps in terms of the storyline besides the trailers that we've seen. For all we know, this door could actually open to be a hidden cinema which has a live video feed showing in the cinema to what's going on at the Doris facility. I think like with Treyarch's twisted mind on how things are presented in zombies, I think that idea isn't too far-fetched at all. We could have group 935 members working in this area behind that door as well, linking directly to the Doris facility and there could be some sort of exchange of perhaps objects or things that are needed that can be produced in the morgue city and then transported over to Doris. Morg City could actually be a much more darker place than the bright lights and crazy uh, flamboyant city that we're being presented with in the trailer. But there we go guys, proof that Shadows of Evil is linked to Doris. Or let me know what you think and your thoughts and theories slash speculations in the comment section down below and I'll be bringing you guys a lot more Black Ops 3 Zombies videos so make sure to subscribe. If you've missed my recent videos, I've uploaded a video showing you guys a behind the scenes of the Zombies Reveal tent from San Diego Comic Con as well as the Juggernaug mini fridge first look as well as breakdowns of the giant trailer and the Shadows of Evil trailer so make sure you check those out. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you on another video very very soon.